it going guys? Slain HD here today. So today I thought I'd do another video on how to keep your computer safe, protected, and clean. And today we'll be going over malware. So there's a program out there called Malwarebytes and you can get a free trial and it is honestly one of the best programs out there for removing malware off of your system. Um, I mean, it's if you go to Google, like I'll do here, type in best malware removal, top 10 removal for Windows, number one, malware anti malware bytes, anti malware. So it's really good. So here's the web page right here. You can buy it or you can download the free version. Um, and the free version is great. Um, you can even get this for your business if you needed to, which I would recommend if you're looking for a malware bite, anti malware solution to run with your antivirus, which I would recommend to most people to run a malware and an antivirus. Um, all right, so let's get into the program. So you have your dashboard here, uh, talks about your license. So we have the premium trial, the database version. So you always want to update that um, scan progress so you can. You can schedule scans and whatnot. Um, and right now we have real-time protection, so malware and malicious website protection enabled. So even while you're on the internet, such, you know, browsing, whatever, you're protected. So let's look at the scan. So you've got your threat scan, which is the comprehensive scan, our most comprehensive scan. Custom scan, where you can, you know, select what you want scanned. And then the hyper scan, which is obviously the faster scan. Um, It'll be the quickest one. But to be honest, the threat scan does not take that long. I think I have, let's see, on my computer, on my SSD, let's see, 419, 198, 221. So I have about 380 gigs worth of data. 220 on my SSD and another 100 and so on my hard drive, hard disk drive. So yeah, it scans actually really fast. Um, cool thing about it here in settings, um, you can add files to be excluded. You know, sometimes um, the program will pick up on stuff that it thinks is malware when it's actually not. Um, website exclusions, detection, pro uh, detection and protection. So, um, you can disable it for website and whatnot. Uh, so these potentially unwanted programs, pups, which you'll see a lot pop up. You can click to ignore. Um, same with the potentially unwanted modification. Um, you can also in here scan for rootkits, which I don't know why that was unselected. Update settings, uh, notify user it's out of date, history settings. So there's tons. I mean, it's for for a free trial. This is great, and even for a paid program, this is is probably as good as it gets. I would highly recommend it. Um, so after you do a scan, let's just do a hyper scan real quick. Um, hopefully it won't take too long. Um, I, I think I just did like a, uh, uh, full scan and it took like four minutes and that was to scan all 200 and, or 300 somewhat gigs of data. Um, and so I've ran this already. There's no, no malware. Um, but I ran it before, before I, before this video, I actually ran it a couple days ago and there was some pups, so potentially unwanted uh, programs. Um, and if you've heard of Candy Bar, it's like a browser add-on that collects data, things like that. So that was in my system and that got past my antivirus that didn't pick it up. And I have Avast free, um, which if you watch one of my videos, I do a uh, video on top you know, the best free antivirus out there. And Avast is actually in the top three. So it got past Avast. Um, now, granted, the candy bar malware is not uh, necessarily, you know, really dangerous mal malware, but it still is malware. Um, so that, that should give you some credit, show you the value of anti-malware, malware bytes, right? Um, yeah, so... Let's see. Okay, so it's done scanning, zero threats, um, which is always good. But so let's say there were threats. What will happen is it'll it'll quarantine them in here, and it'll show you them here, right? Like um, I th maybe I can pull up my old one somewhere in here. Let's see. 
Okay, yeah, so here's the old one, right? Um, and let me see if I can show Open Candy. Sorry, not Candy One. So it's called Open Candy. Um, and that was hidden in World of War tanks, different, you know, and some registry keys, you know, all throughout here. And like I said, Open Candy is like an information collector. So it's not really dangerous, but it's still, it'll slow your computer down and things like that. So it was able to find all that. Um, and so you can export this to a text file, like if you had a business and you wanted to show them what they found, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it keeps a log too. But anyway, so it would show you all here here in the quarantine. It doesn't automatically delete them. It quarantines them, and then you can go through and select what you want to delete. So really, really cool program. Uh, everything about it I really like. I would highly recommend at least downloading it to run a threat scan just to be on the safe side. Why not? Um, if you haven't ran a scan in a while, you're more than likely probably got some malware on your machine unless you're extra, extra safe while you're browsing and downloading. Um, you know, when it comes to browser add-ons and things like that, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware will pick them up and it'll get rid of them for you and it will help keep your PC safe and reliable and up to speed. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. And uh, thanks for watching.